Hey, what's going on, everybody? Actually just finished uh, filming a few more podcast episodes. I know that's going to be coming out here in a little bit, getting some stuff filmed. But one of the things that we talked about uh, during the episode is we're doing like a comment section where I am answering comments that I get on some of my videos. And one of the questions that I answered there, and I thought it'd be fun to make a video on, was do I ever have bad days or days where I kind of give in to my cravings. And I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit, especially because I am dealing with one of those right now. Meaning yesterday, I did not follow my plan. I gave in to my cravings yesterday and those days still absolutely happen. Um, now I think by sharing the videos that I do and kind of walking you through, um, understand that this is, you know, social media. I do uh, absolutely kind of share a little bit of a highlight reel. Now, with that being said, I do my best to really show what sustainability looks like, meaning I'm filming what I eat five out of seven days out of the week, sometimes more, sometimes a little less, but I don't always do the best job of kind of showing you some of my low days. Um, and part of that is uh, on days where I'm not necessarily eating on plan or kind of giving into my cravings a little bit. Some of that is days that I don't necessarily feel as good, so I don't feel like filming, but I do kind of want to walk you through what I ate yesterday what that looked like eating off plan, and more importantly, what today looks like as a result. So with all that being said, um, I'll kind of walk you through a little bit of what I had yesterday and what today's looking like. So yesterday was a day that I did not fast. So I didn't get the best night of sleep on uh, Tuesday, woke up yesterday morning feeling um, not necessarily my best, feeling a little down. And after dropping the girls off at school, I actually went to, um, was running an errand and drove by a McDonald's and I saw a sign talking about the uh, steak, egg, and cheese bagel. And I, that is a food that I have not eaten in years. It used to be something that I would eat a lot. And I was like, you know what? That sounds really good right now. So I went in, I had a steak, egg, and cheese bagel, no onions. Um, and I had that yesterday morning around nine o'clock. Now, if I had been fasting to get to 16 hours, I would have started eating around noon, but I had that early, so I ate breakfast. I didn't fast yesterday. Now, my intention uh, was to have my steak, egg, and cheese bagel, and then kind of go throughout the rest of the day, just kind of back on track, and that didn't necessarily happen. Now, I think one of the things that is different from when I was at my heaviest is I would have ordered two steak, egg, and cheese bagels, and that just would have been where I started the day. I had one steak, and egg, and cheese bagel, a Diet Coke, and it was good. After that, um, for lunch, I, uh, I think the plan Carrie actually made, and I'll show you, she made some uh, like three bean salad. Let's see if I can show that to you. She made some three bean salad, it's like gar all sorts of stuff, garbanzo beans, like this really good like vegetable salad. There's some beans in there, some pepperoncinis, a little bit of salami, mozzarella balls, really good. So I was gonna eat that and cook some sort of lean protein, but it didn't end up happening. I ended up uh, door dashing some Mr. O1 pizza. I got a meat lover's pizza and I had that for lunch. Now the plan for dinner last night was to cook a ribeye and asparagus, but because I had the steak, egg and cheese bagel, I had a large meat lover's pizza by about one o'clock in the afternoon, I was, by the time I'd finished eating that, I was super full. I didn't feel uh, like eating dinner. And I knew even though steak and asparagus would be a good healthy meal, at that point I'd kind of, I had eaten enough to the point that I was very full. So went, picked the girls up, brought them home. We cooked dinner together, which was really nice. Me and my youngest ended up cooking dinner and I didn't have the, uh, the steak and asparagus and the uh, cheesy rice aroni that we'd prepared, because honestly, because I was really full. But then at the end of the night, um, after we had put the girls to bed, I did have, um, Carrie picked up uh, doing some grocery shopping. She got the um, mini drumsticks. And these are, let me see here. 
These are 130 calories per cone. And from about eight o'clock to nine o'clock last night, um, I had three of those cones. So again, not absolutely crazy. All in all, if you figure the steak, egg, and cheese bagel, that was probably 700 calories. The pizza was probably, it was probably 2,000. And then the ice cream cones, another three, 400. So I ended the day close to around 3,000 calories. Absolutely above my maintenance and not what I planned for. So that is a day that things go off track and I kind of gave into my cravings a little bit. What is different now than where I was when I was at my heaviest, 270, 275 pounds, is I would eat like that and I would have so much guilt over, I can't believe you ate that, what did you do? That I would not eat on track for days or maybe even weeks following. Today, um, and this started with last night after I had the ice cream cones, um, and again, I knew it was not a good day of eating, is telling myself that's okay this doesn't derail it's not going to affect where you are weeks and months from now um, it is just like a single occurrence so i woke up today fasting been fasting since nine o'clock last night and i am now um, i'm gonna do some quick math so if i stopped eating at eight noon it would be 16 hours i'm an hour behind that so 15, I'm coming up on 17 hours fasted and I'm getting ready to break my fast with a protein shake because that is what I do most days. And if I get back into what I do most days, that is what's most important. So I still absolutely do have those days. And if you are struggling and feel like I shouldn't be having them, well, that's not the case either. If you are too hard on yourself, if you don't show yourself a little bit of grace, it's going to do more damage than good. I say it all the time. Don't let the guilt do more damage than the calories. Um, there are also days where I don't give into my cravings and I do good. Um, and on those days, I count it as a win. Um, but I still do have days that don't go as planned. I don't call them cheat meals anymore um, because that just, I, I try not to label food as good or bad. I just have higher calorie days, lower calorie days. Yesterday was a higher calorie day without near as many nutrients, wasn't timed. I was eating more. Um, I, I was eating not for the nutrition, but I was eating for a little bit of the, uh, the comfort that food brings. And that's okay too, understanding that. So that's just a little bit um, of a day that doesn't go necessarily as planned. But the big thing is that next day, just be right back on track. And there are other times where I will pick right back up in the middle of the day and continue the day on track. You don't always have to have, I'm going to reset on Monday, right? Like reset as soon as you are able to. And for me, it's a good night's sleep last night, waking up this morning and resetting. So let me know if you like this video. If you want to see more, um, leave a comment below. Let me know if you kind of like these uh, impromptu, kind of like in the moment. I want to answer the question when I see it in real life. So if you have any other questions, leave a comment below. Um, and if you want more kind of insights um, to my own ideas around weight loss, tips, motivations, you can sign up for my email newsletter. It's at emailswithryan.com. And if you like this video and want to see another, I'm going to leave one on the screen here now. Be sure to check that out. And remember, we're not looking to lose weight fast. We're looking to lose weight forever. Thanks again. And I will catch you in the next video.